this web tutorial, we're going to discuss just a few of the things that you're going to see on the uh, PowerPoint Module 3 projects. First thing we're going to do is go to the Design tab here and um, just briefly review uh, changing the theme of your presentation. So if you wanted to do this frame, you could. You could select this or, I don't know, this one. We'll keep what we have. It. Um, but the purpose behind the themes is to keep a continual uh, color, um, fonts, they're the same throughout the presentation to create uniformity. And then if you needed to change the, the colors uh, theme, it's right here, the variance, drop down, colors, and then of course you can change it to whatever you like. So we have this uh, subtitle, which is in a, a text box. Um, we can actually click and drag this box and put it elsewhere. If you click that dotted line, you then have the option of going ahead and uh, moving it wherever you want. So we'll go ahead and put that on top of that. We can also delete it. So if I select this, and again I select that dotted line, if I hit the delete key on my keyboard, notice that it disappears. It does put this here, but we can delete that as well. Let's go ahead and talk about inserting audio you have the option of both inserting audio and video it's on the insert tab it's all the way over here and we'll click audio from my pc we'll go ahead and select this right here and it's bringing in that file and so we have this over here let's go ahead and drag that it's going to have you on the project put it in some corner um, some of the things that you'll need to note is that once we have this selected, you have the format, you have the playback here, um, but you're going to want to focus like on the start, probably automatically. You can have it to where it plays across all slides. You can loop until stopped. You can hide it during the so show, so if you have the presentation open, and then rewind after playing. Now, something else you would want to do is insert a video. So, again, we're on the Insert tab. Uh, video drop down video uh, on my PC we'll go ahead and insert that and that brings this box with the video now uh, again you have the start automatically you had the loop until stop rewind after playing hide while not playing or play in full screen but then you also have these format um, options here with that selected you could add a frame around it um, there's a lot that you could do here so um, just make sure if you have this video selected, you have these video tools at your disposal. Let's go back to this text box. Now, right now, my video is um, in front of this group of uh, words. And so if I wanted to bring that to the front with that selected on the home group, you have the arrange here. And I can actually bring this to the front. And notice that my text now appears in front of the video. I could do that with the video. I could do that with the picture. I just have to bring it forward. Um, let's go ahead and insert another text box. So we're on the Insert tab. We're going to do Text Box, and then I'm actually going to be able to drag my own box, and I can just put Driving in, and it, it populates that. And then, of course, this shrinks down to fit that. We can also, um, this one's left aligned, but if I needed a center or right aligned, I could do that. That's on the Home and this group over here. Let's say I wanted to put these two images, the image and the um, the image and the picture together. So if I have the picture selected, I hold the control key and I actually select the um, the text box that I created. I have them both selected. And the easy way to group these two items is to actually right click and click group group. And now that becomes one object. See, when I drag it around, it stays the same. Now, if I wanted to ungroup it, I could right-click, click Group, and click Ungroup, and that would separate those two objects. Now, let's go ahead and talk about animation. So with my picture selected, it might tell me to add this fly-in animation. Some things that you might want to note in addition to just applying the animation is you have the effect options. So if you wanted to go from top, you could do that. And then um, you can also uh, change the start to on click or with previous or after previous. And you can also change the duration to, to slow it down or to speed it up. Um, that's up to you. And let's talk about transitions. So um, 
we'll select this slide and we're going to click the transitions tab at the top and you have a lot of options in, it, in the project it'll tell you which one you want but uh if we wanted to do this window we could uh you might need to change the duration on mouse click or you can set a time here and then the other thing is you might want to select apply to all so now all of those uh, slides have that effect and then of course you can sometimes have effect options and you could do that as well.